we deal with people. Uh, we're going to say that, you see, the two of your glasses have purple water in them, two of them have blue water in them. We're going to say today that the purple ones are Christian, and the blue ones are not. Okay, the blue ones are in their sin, they do things they shouldn't do, they say things they shouldn't do, and God says that on Judgment Day, only the purple ones are going to go to heaven. Okay? So which ones are we? Are we the purple ones or the blue ones? We're the purple ones. Okay, so the question is, what do we do with the blue ones? Should we dump them out? Should we ignore them? Should we move them way to this end and we go to this end so that they don't contaminate us? Would those be good things to do? Well, you know what God wants us to do? All right, let's try to convince them. Let's move them right next to each other and try to convince them. Are they turning purple? Hmm. How do we turn purple? We need something. We could dump them out and put in purple, but you know what? You know how these purple ones got purple? These ones used to be blue. You know that? They were all blue. But, we added something. So they could be purple. Okay? We could add Jesus' blood. Now Jesus' blood is red, right? So, you suppose if the blood of Jesus went into these guys, they would turn purple? Are they purple now? They're getting there, aren't they? So what if we... Oh, I don't think so. One drop should be enough. What do you think? No, they're just as purple as we are. See, that's what God wants us to do. When we see people who are sinners, when we see people who don't know who Jesus is, you know what they need? They need the blood of Christ. Because the same way that the blood of Jesus made us Christians, it makes them Christians too. So now, ah, careful. Now we're all the same. So when God comes and he sees all these purple ones, which ones get to go to heaven? The purple ones. And they're all purple. So that's a win, isn't it? Well, now where do we get this? If we see somebody who needs Jesus, where do we get the blood of Jesus? from God. He tells us that just like Logan said, that when we tell them what God told us, when we share with them the word of God, God will take his blood and make them clean. The same way that he made us. So, do you know any sinners? I do. I know a lot of them. In fact, I am one. And what do sinners need? And what do sinners need? They need Jesus' blood to wash them clean. And between now and judgment, that's our job. We want to teach people about Jesus, share with them the blood of Jesus so that they can be Christians too. And when Jesus comes back, they'll be ready and every believer gets to go to heaven. So why don't we pray and ask Jesus to help us with that. Could you fold your hands and pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you for making me yours. Thank you for shedding your blood and taking my sins away. Help me to remember that wherever I go, you go with me. And the message of forgiveness is mine to share. In your name I pray. Amen.